Supposedly, there's this food fight that happens every year in Europe. I asked all my friends if they knew about it, and they all said, No. No. What's that? And supposedly, it's the world's largest food fight. But if it's the biggest, why hasn't anyone heard about it? I don't know what it is. So I thought, well, someone from America needs to find out. A hero. A saint. Or me. Could be worse. But I live in New York City, and that's not where the food fight is happening. It's actually over here. In España. Estoy en España. <clears throat> in Spain. I'm uh, in Spain. Specifically, I'm here in Valencia, Spain, and here is where our story starts. But first, let me tell you the legend of La Tomatina. 1944, a brawl broke out near the spilled over vegetable stand. Those involved started throwing tomatoes at one another, and the first tomato toss marked the start of what is now known as the world's biggest food fight. So we're here to see if it does what excites. All right, good morning guys here in Valencia. We're gonna make our way to Buñol in La Tomatina today, so. Oh, <gasps> ow, what the f are you, f are you f kidding me, dude? Let's see who this guy is. What? Gotcha. <laughs> the criminal is identified as Amir Ashley Alexander, my girlfriend. She'll be joining the adventure. At a crisp 8 a.m., we ran to board our bus to begin our trek to Buñol. Kelly, uh, Wakasa. And for some reason, maybe because Ashley was there, or I just had no idea what to expect, I was nervous. I was scared. Ashley was chilling. <laughs> the night before our excursion, I read this review of La Tomatina by Fearless462406. Worst experience ever. As the festival starts, they start to push you out on the streets so the trucks may go through and start tossing out tomatoes. We were all in danger of being pushed over and trampled by the mob of people pushing and shoving. Anyways, there was no turning back, and I knew we'd get there safely thanks to good old Google Maps. So thanks to Google Maps for sponsoring this portion of the video. Whenever I'm planning adventures, like... <clears throat> Whenever I'm planning adventures, whether it be here in Spain, Turkey, India, or back at home in New York City, I'm using Google Maps. Why? Because Google Maps provides 20 billion kilometers of directions every single day, which is nearly half a million trips around the Earth. Did you know that, Ashley? Wait, how do you even know I'm watching this? Some other things I like about Google Maps is lists. All my favorite food spots, my restaurants, my cafes, you name it, I list it. Google Maps has a newer feature called emoji pins and it's just adorable to put a little emoji coffee cup on a coffee shop that you like. Also, you can check out my list of New York City down below, of course, using Google Maps. Another reason why I like Google Maps is this new feature they have called Immersive View. Basically, it lets you explore new areas and new spots before you even go to them. And so it helps me a lot of times organize my trips and let me know if I actually do want to go in person to see this place. Thanks again to Google Maps for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now back to the regular content. It's time to throw some tomatoes. Oh boy, here we are. We have made it to Buñol. Yeah, we have a little bit of time before the fight starts. I'm super excited. I've known about this for a while. It's been on my calendar for almost a year. And now I'm finally here. Hopefully we're, we're safe. And I have an eyeball at the end of this. They also said you're not allowed to throw tomatoes at small um, Hapa Wajin girls. They said that. What is this? This is Turkey Cholo. <laughs> Bro, what? We need to fully immerse ourselves. Looking clean! Wow, this is so sexy. Yeah, I know. Oh. Wow, I love it. Who are you most excited to hit? This guy, this guy, this guy. This guy? This guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's yeah. looking here. I guess I know who to aim for too now. Uh, <laughs> I'm most excited to hit that expensive camera. I mean, that would be a sick shot. Hell. 
That's what I'm about to give them right there. Code word, do what excites if we're not safe. That's the worst code word to have ever. Oh, what happened? Are you nervous? A little bit, yes, why not? Is this the first? Yes, it's the first one. It's Spanish, more or less. Oh, yes, okay, okay. I speak English too. You speak English too? Yeah, of course. Oh, fire. Oh, as you can see, the tarp's on the wall. So it starts here. So there was about an hour till the fight actually starts, and we found ourselves in this little pre-party. You got your hardcore band. You guys are awesome. Which distracted us from the chaos that was about to ensue. That That's our target right there. That's, That's our target. target. Right That's, That's our target. You're going after the big guy. We don't crush the tomatoes here, bro. We don't crush the tomatoes. Hey, I brought I brought some frozen tomatoes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, no. And if you're wondering, like. Isn't this whole food fight a huge waste of food? Well, according to numerous online sources, the tomatoes are rotting or unfit to consume anyway. But who really knows? It is official. We are about to start. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm ready. It's gonna be a blast. When we initially walked into the event, it was what you expect. Just a lot of people. But that's when I saw... The, the locals call it palo jabon. This pole basically is covered in grease and animal fat, and at the top there's this juicy ham. And if you get the ham down, the food fight starts. So when I saw the people climbing all over each other to reach the top, which was terrifying because of how barbaric it was, I said to myself, do what excites. Don't use me! Don't use me, you- My phone's gone, so I gotta go find that ish. Sorry. Shoot. Nothing. Nothing. Oh my god, dude. Bro, he was shoeless on the concrete. That's an ankle. That hand hurt. That hand hurt. That's crazy. After realizing that my phone had been stolen out of my zipper pocket. Yeah. Gone? Yeah, I don't know where it is. And being stuffed into a crowd of people, the horn went off and the fight began. Oh, I got one! Yeah, no, don't eat that. You got the tomato! These are spoiled tomatoes. We're gonna throw up. I smell like pizza. Mmm, pizza! There were five more trucks coming, and my eyes were already in pain from the tomatoes. I can't see. But the beauty of it all was there was no time to think. You got me in the head. skeptical at first about this world's biggest food fight and the review I read was correct it was dangerous there was shoving there was pushing it was chaos but in full honesty that was the best part that 